Since you are watching this video, I guess your computer is running with an issue here as you are trying to follow forward was recently installed this row error. The problem can start because pink 2w32.dll is missing from your computer. It's a very critical error and all you need to do is watch this video patiently and follow that method on your computer. Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I will be fixing this error within 3 minutes. So, Start the countdown. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for zinke2w32.dll. You can choose any results. I am choosing the first one. It's not sponsored, but I will put the link in the description. The DLL file is for 32 bit, but 64 bit users can use this too. To know your version, click on start and search for system information. Here you can see minus 64 bit and I'm um, updated so I'll be downloading from the top. I strongly recommend you to read this phase, it has backup fixing method also. You can use this too. As the download complete, hit open. The downloaded GIF has two files, one is the DLL, the other one is readme. To move the DLL, first open this PC, then new volume C, Windows, and find a folder name System32. This is the home of 32 bit DLL files. Then click on the downloaded GIF, drag the DLL, and drop. I've already done it, so it is asking me to replace. And click on continue to give administrator access. Before we proceed, let's check by typing the file name you can see the file is perfectly placed in this folder right now so job is done for 32 bit user and you can go and restart your computer only if you are a 64 bit user like me open this pc one more time local dc windows and this time find a folder name syswall64 and similarly drag and drop check this one more time by typing the file name you can see the file is placed in 64 bit folder 2 and finally, restart your computer. In extremely rare cases, if the still occurs, you need to download and install Microsoft DirectX from Microsoft official website and install your program again, and that will surely fix it. And that's all. If you follow me step by steps, you will no longer have that problem left. Please let me know how you feel about this video. And do not forget to like and subscribe.